All right. Hi, everyone. Welcome to our um, webinar series with CL Derm. And today we are up with Farzane for our medical esthetician Q&A. So I see a lot of you joining right now. I'm just going to give it a little bit of time for everyone to kind of get acclimated and get in here. While, while you guys are um, joining, I want to thank you for coming in to see us and happy Friday to everyone. Um, I want to start by giving you guys a little bit of background about uh, Farzane because she is our incredible medical esthetician. Uh, she has been with us for over, um, well, she has over 30 years of experience on her own and she's been with CL Derm for the last 15 years. So she's a very big integral part of our team and she's been working with Dr. Goldman for, for, for over for 15 years now. Um, she has studied you know, um, in Iran and in Germany and she's extremely very well qualified. She does all sorts of esthetician treatments and skincare recommendations. And I'm gonna explain to you now a little bit between the difference between an esthetician, like that we see all the time at medical spas, and a medical esthetician, what Farzane is. So a traditional esthetician would be known more as a skincare specialist, and they would clean the skin using things like exfoliation, massage, aromatherapy, and facials. They also can help analyze the skin to identify health problems, temporarily remove hair, and they also have a cosmetic focus. So they may even apply makeup and consult individuals on the best product for their skin types. And generally these estheticians are found working in beauty salons, resorts, and spas. So that's kind of the, the esthetician that a lot of us know. But now let's talk about a medical esthetician, which is what Farzane is. So it's a little different because it's a much more clinical or paramedical esthetician is a skincare specialist with a more clinical focus. So they work on a, on a higher level. Basically, they work with people like cancer patients or burn victims with a, or other health related issues. They also treat and maintain facial skin that has been damaged due to things um, like injuries or even chemotherapy. But, um, you know, and they're also responsible for helping patients cleanse and moisturize their skin choose and apply the right makeup. And medical estheticians will generally be working in um, hospitals, trauma centers, reconstructive surgery centers, or medical clinics like cosmetic laser dermatology. So I hope that explains a little bit the difference. You guys have some background about Farzane. Um, and I know, you know, we have a couple questions that some of you submitted ahead of time to start getting this going. But before we start, I'd like to just um, launch a little poll. So I believe a poll should have come up on your guys' screen right now. Can you guys tell me if you see it? There's a little chat function on the sidebar panel. If you could just tell me if you see it and if you could start filling it out, um, that would be, okay, I see some of you filling it out. So I guess it's, I guess it's working. So I'll just give like a minute here for you guys to fill this out. It's just to helpful for our information. Okay, so let's just five more seconds. Anyone who's still working on it, will you just submit your poll? Okay, so I'm gonna end this poll. So let me just share the results with everyone. So it seems um, most of you are, you know, have not seen us or seen FARS before because you haven't been a patient. So that's great. A lot of you heard about this uh, webinar on email or Instagram. Most people in San Diego and California, but a few international. And what procedures have you had before? So it seems like it's a good mix. A lot of people have dabbled in in a little thing in 
in a lot of little esthetician treatments and, and other more medical cosmetic dermatology treatments. Um, so that is very helpful. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. So um, in the chat feature, do you guys all see where the chat is? The, the, the part on the bottom of your screen, there's a thing that says Q&A. And if you guys could go to that Q&A, you are welcome to start typing in questions that Farzane will be ready to answer for you. So, all right, I'm gonna hand this over to Farz. Hi, Farz. Hi, everybody. This is Farzane, medical esthetician from Cosmetic Laser Dermatology. I'm working with Dr. Goldman almost about 15 years, and I'm here today. I'm so happy to answer your question from everywhere you are. Please stay safe at home, and thank you, Lisa, for your introduction. Great. Answer okay. any question. Yes, okay, we have a few coming in, and the rest of you, um, if anyone's having trouble, feel free to chat me if you need help. Um, but there is a Q&A section of this for you to enter in your questions. So um, here we go. What kind of treatment do you recommend for dark spots? Usually at work, I have few different kind of peel. First things what I do when I have a patient, I do the consult, I analyze the skin to see what kind of skin they have and what kind of, what age they are because the services is different for different kind of skin and different kind of age. But usually I have few different kind of peel, uh, like white rice peel, jasmine peel, or combination. The way I like it, I love to combine and customize the treatment for my patient. And I have few different peels which they help with the pigment. Okay, thank you. That's very helpful. So let's see. Um, what treatments do you do for rosacea? Okay, we have few different kind of the treatment for rosacea. Uh, first, the rosacea, if they like the patient, they like to take a, a see a dermatologist, they usually give them the tablet to help or medication. If you see the, uh, the cosmetic dermatologies, which we are, uh, our doctors, we have a lot of different laser, like IPL laser, which it helps with the rosacea. What I can do for the rosacea, the rosacea, they are kind of the bacteria. And then the, the build of skin, the build of the dead cells, it caused that bacteria. What I can do usually for the rosacea and the people they have sensitive and broken capillaries, I do dermoplaning. Dermoplaning is a blade which it helps to remove the dead cells. As benefit of that, remove the pitch cause of the skin. The hair grow back between six to eight weeks. When it's growing, is the same color, the same amount, the same texture. The reason I like to do it because it helps to remove one layer of the dead cells. And then after that, I use two different kinds of peel. I have different kinds of peel for rosacea people. One is the lactic acid and the other one is azolic acid, which that helps to cut the bond between the dead cells and the skin and bring back the glow to the skin and help to calm down the redness of rosacea. Got it, very informative, thank you. Um, okay, so I, okay, I see you guys are seeing the Q&A area now as more are coming in. So um, I don't want to pronounce your name wrong, but I think Lucia says, hi Fars, we miss you. Are there any special instructions for facial skincare at this strange time when we are not able to do our re regular visits? And this is from Lucia and Amelia. Lucia, Emilia, I miss you all uh, and I can count, uh, I'm counting every day to see you all again. Yes, the best things I can recommend that always have a good exfoliation at home. Use a, uh, a scrub uh, to help to remove the dead cells. Definitely, I ask you to use the vitamin C because the vitamin C help to for uneven skin and help to refresh your skin. And then use a mask if you uh, have the mask, any kind of mask. If your skin is dry, you can use a hydrating mask, or if your skin is very oily, you can use some kind of clay mask. Actually, our office is open. If you need anything, you can always call the office where some of the employees are here to help you with the products too. 
or you can text me and I can ask them to send that to you. Okay, great. I hope that answered your question. All right, so um, Terry says, what do you recommend during this time as a way to do a home facial to keep your skin less dry and bright? Uh, again, I go back with the exfoliation. You need the exfoliation all the time. Uh, you can use, if you don't have any kind of like uh, lactic products with lactic or alcoholic, at least use the uh, scrub. Use the chlorosonic brush. That's the best way because the movement of the chlorosonic brush is back and forth and it helps to remove all the dead cells. That helps to refresh the skin and then the moisturizer you could absorb deeper to the skin. Okay, great. I hope that answered. Um, Terry. Okay, here's a new one. This is from Joan. So what is a Volani treatment? Have you heard of it and is it effective for wrinkles? Uh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't hear about that. I don't know what kind of treatment is that. Okay, Joan, if you have any more information or information, a link, please check yes. it out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and they, she, he can email, uh, she can email it to me and I can uh, do research more about that treatment and send uh, the answer to her. Okay, that would be fabulous. So we'll type Farzaneh's email in for all of you yes, please. Um, in, in this chat box. Okay, so let's see. Is there anything you can do at home to reduce pore size? Yes, a good exfoliation. Always, always I go back to exfoliation. Please try to use a good exfoliation. Use the chlorosonic brush. They help to remove the dead cells. And why they become acne? The dead cells, they clog the pores. They become whitehead, whitehead, blackhead, and blackhead become acne. That's why it's always the best things to use a good exfoliation. And when you have time, you can come to the office. I have a lot of different treatment for the clogging pores and to help to reduce it. Okay, that's really helpful. So now that a lot more people have joined, um, I just wanted to run one more poll to get a little bit more of a sense of the current skincare needs for everyone out here. Um, so let's just do this real fast. So you guys should all see a poll that came up on your screen with just a little bit more information so far as an A can make sure um, she's addressing things for everyone, even if you don't have a particular question. Thank you guys. It's been 30 seconds. We'll just do another another minute here. Okay, and just make sure that at the end you press submit so that your answers get calculated. All right, last chance to submit. All right, so let me end this and let me share these results. Um, so let's see, it appears, Farzane, can you see this too? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Oh. So most people are dealing with dry skin. Uh -huh. Majority of you are 46 to 60, followed by 61 and over. Um, texture is and wrinkles are the biggest concern. And today they are most interested, most of you are interested to hear about esthetician treatments. Okay. And um, next up would be at-home solutions. Solution. Okay. Okay. Thank you all for sharing. Um, Thank you. Okay, so back to questions. So there's more questions coming in. Please, um, for those of you that have just joined us, go to the Q&A function on this and you can send a private chat if you're having trouble finding it. But go to the Q&A so that you can submit your questions. So here's the next one. Is any vitamin C serum okay to use? Uh, so I 
They're saying which are they all the same? Okay, I like actually vitamin C. Always I tell my patient the vitamin C is number one product for their skin. What it does, it uh, protects the skin from all the diseases, sun damage, environmental pollution. It helps to minimize the large folds, minimize the brown spot. The best vitamin C I can recommend it to everybody is the skin suticals vitamin C because it's less of 15% less chloric acid and fluoric acid too, and plus vitamin E. It's CE fluoric acid. I believe I have it here. This is the, hopefully everybody. That's perfect. This is the best vitamin C I can recommend. It. It's almost like about 40 years research working on that to create it, that beautiful vitamin C. You can find the vitamin C everywhere, but are they really concentrated? You cannot say that. Most of the vitamin C, they are like 5% or 3%, and the price is around like between 40 to $60. But the best, I believe, is the skin suticals by CE fluoric acid. That's the best. You can use it every day. And you can use few drops of that one every day. Okay. And what makes it so different than, than the other generic ones that you see? Uh, it's because it's a combination of CE fluoric acid and C is 15% loss for acid. Okay. All right, I hope that answered your question. That one came in anonymously. Um, okay, here's a new one from Mary. I'm 68 and I play tennis five days a week. Wow, well props to you for that right away. <laughs> she says, other than sunblock, have you, do you have any good suggestions for keeping my skin looking good? Okay, yes, you know, as you're a player, definitely you can have some sun damage. What I can recommend it, if you can, uh, as a, uh, like a medical treatment, a spa treatment, you can, I can always combine few different for you. One can be microdermal operation and the other one can be the garcolic cream. These two treatment, a combination of these two treatment, it helps to minimize the brown spot, fine lines, and refresh the skin. It's like polishing the skin and bring back the glow to your skin. This is what I can do here for you or different kind of peel. I have hundred different of the peel depend on your skin when you are here. What you can do at home, definitely, definitely you need to use a good uh, sunscreen, vitamin C. You can use the, we have a lot of different kind of uh, products for the brown spot. One of the best, which it doesn't have any hydroquinone, it can be, Lytera, which Lytera is from a skin medical. Lytera is hydroponone free and everybody can use this one two times morning and night. That helps to brighten the skin and help with uneven skin. All right, thank you so much. So much good information. Okay, let's see. Um, so someone said, what ingredients in skincare should I avoid? And of what kind of skin she had. <laughs> but the best things I can say is do not use any products, any makeup with mineral oil. They can clog your pores, they, they can become milia, which is hard to do the treat the milia, but uh, that's one of the best. Do not use any products or makeup with mineral oil. You can look for like the uh, any like glycerin, any uh, seed oils or petroleum, they are the kind of things they can clog your pores. Great, okay. Um, okay, here's a new one that just came in from Mal Malvika, that's a cool name. Um, hello, what can I use for red post acne marks on my face? Okay, she, uh, what kind of, again, it goes back, depends on what kind of skin she has. If she has the African American skin, she has the American, like a white skin or darker skin. But usually, the, we have many products for the redness relief, 
any products with red earth lilies. I believe a good ingredient can be rose water that can help with the minimize the redness of the skin. Okay. The All right, other so things, the other things, if they have- Wait, she, she says I'm sure. 27 and I have a few whiteheads too. Then she need a pure, uh, like a poor uh, deep cleaning facial to do extraction. The way I do extraction to remove all, to control the acne of the skin or help to minimize the large pores, remove the blackhead, whitehead, and milia, I do the deep cleaning facial here. And then on the top of that, I do different kind of peel, which after the extraction, the pores is open. I do the peel to help to shrink the pores. This is the treatment I can do in the office to help to minimize the pores and acne. And control. Okay. So everyone else, as you're submitting questions, if you don't mind giving us a, a little bit of information about you, your skin type, your age, um, and your ethnic, ethnic background, so it can help Farzane, um best answer. Okay, so, um, oh, someone said, what was the name of the skin brightening product you showed? It's Lytera. Lytera is from Skin So Lytera 2.0. Yes. Okay, all right. Um, let's see, we answered this one. Um, okay. Is there anything I can do to tighten my skin at home? Okay, yes. Again, it goes back to the age of the patient. <laughs> but I like few different treatment. I have vitamin C for any person, age 12 and up, 20 and up, they can use the vitamin C. It's one of the best for anti-aging. I go with the growth factor. Any product with the growth factor, it helps to minimize the fine lines of the skin and tightening the skin. Growth factor is human body protein, which it helps to tighten the, the skin and help with lifting the skin and brightening the skin. Uh, we have few different kind of growth factor. One of the growth factor we have is a skin medical, TNS essential serum which is a combination of two different. One is the growth factor and the other one is the vitamin C. They can use one in, two, it's two products in one model. That's what it helps with the tightening the skin and lifting the skin. Okay, thank you. So this person gave us a little bit more information. She said her name's Janice and she's 59 years old and she has kind of a sagging jawline. Okay, that can, I can send her to the, uh, one of our doctors. <laughs> we have a lot of seminars for the doctors. That they are bringing, she can ask the question because we have a lot of treatment for the neck jawline. Uh, it can be injection, it can be laser. And I leave that up to one of okay. the doctors to answer. Fabulous. And so Janice, on Monday, we have Dr. Sabrina Fabi doing a webinar and she's going to be speaking specifically about the neck and jawline treatments. So if you can, please tune into that at 12 p.m. Um, okay, so just one more follow-up question about Lytera. Could that be used for post-acne marks as well? Yes. Okay, very helpful. All right, so tell us about what eye product you recommend. What products you want me to recommend it? <laughs> With knowing nothing about the patient. So some of your okay. favorite eye creams. Let's, let's talk about it. Always a good exfoliation. Every single person, they need to have a good exfoliation. Any scrub uh, doesn't matter. Use any good scrub every few days to remove the dead cells of your skin. One of my favorite, favorite moisturizer is on... Neocotis, I am sure all my patients, they know that, everybody knows that, is the Journée. Why I like the Journée moisturizer? This is from Swiss, Swiss technology, actually. They make it in Switzerland. It has five products in. It has green tea, white tea, hyaluronic acid, growth factor, and sunscreen. It's SPF 30. Instead of, uh, many patients, they don't like to use layer after layer of the skin. One product for everything. This is what 
I can recommend it to everybody they can use that one because it's involved with antioxidant, it's involved with sunscreen and moisturizing and anti-aging. That's one of my favorite things. About the eye cream, I love the Lumiere eye cream. Again, it's from Neil Curtis, which is from Switzerland. That has four ingredients. It has green tea, white tea, hyaluronic growth factor, which it helps to minimize the dark circle, poofiness, fine lines, and tightening around the eyes. For sure, these three treatments, every day they can have it. This is my favorite. I'm using it for many years. I'm 60 years old and I didn't do any like laser to anything, but this is what I usually do and the treatment I do it in the, uh, like the peels, dermoplaning, macrodermal operation. They are what I do. Thank you. Um, so a couple of you are, are asking kind of how to purchase these products. So, you know, I just want to make it clear. We're not here today to make a big sales pitch. We really just want to support you. But if you do want to purchase any of these products, um, we do carry them and we are actually available to ship them to your home. Um, we can package them up very safely using gloves and ship them to you. So you're welcome to call our office um, or you can message me with your information and we can have someone reach out and help get that going. Um, we have some promotions going on right now as well. Um, all of our skincare um, currently. Uh, I have to say something about the mask. The mask uh, actually I had in last month, I had a lot of my patients, they text me and they are asking about what they have to do. They need a mask to uh, give their skin a good hydration. I, I like two different masks. We don't carry that one. They can go online and purchase that one. It's from LMS. LMS is, is a company in England. If you have oily skin and clogging pores, the lavender repair mask is one of the best. You can always get that one. Use that one once a week. Even you can sleep with that. You can leave it 30 minutes or you can leave it overnight on the skin. This helps with the acne skin and oily skin. The other mask for exotic moisturizing mask is from LMS that helps with the, for dry skin. If the people, especially right now with the weather we have, is very, um, most of the people skin is dry. That exotic moisturizing mask is one of the best they can purchase it online from LMS, E-L-E-M-I-S. Again, they can email me and I can send all the information for them. Okay. Anybody has any more question about that? Okay. So we have one person saying if um, we could please hold up the product a little longer or, or say the name as well. And for now, can you repeat what's in the Swiss formula and what it's used for? I heard okay. SPF, but not what else. Okay. That's the journey moisturizer. And I can bring uh, the box of that on the end of the uh, question and answer. Thank you. I'm going to, this is the journey. As I said, it has five ingredients, green tea, white tea, hyaluronic acid growth factor, and SPF 30. I use that on every single morning. Actually, the other things I can recommend that to my patient is the recovery night complex. Is that one is from calcium. It's made from the growth factor, but that the growth factor of that is not the human growth factor, is the deer, the animal growth factor which it helps to, for the tightening the skin, refresh the skin on, as anti-aging, and they can use that one for the hydration and the redness. Again, is that the calcium? Uh, hopefully everybody can see. Yeah, a little closer, actually. Okay. Yeah, that's great. I know it probably seems so close. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so um, we've had a couple questions asking about, is it safe to exfoliate every day? And someone else said, how many times should I exfoliate? I have fair skin, I'm Spanish and 56 years old. 
Okay, uh, if your skin is normal, two, week, two times a week is okay, two to three times a week is okay, if your uh, exfoliation is just regular a scrub. If you, are, you, have, you're, you have some kind of in products with uh, alcoholic ingredient, two times is enough. But if you have acne skin, I don't want too much exfoliation for the skin because that can cause more irritation on the skin, just one time or two times. The best I can recommend it for oily skin and acne skin can be a product with salicylic acid, benzoyl peroxide acid, which they help to control the sebum glands oil of oil of the skin. Got it, okay, thank you. Alpha hydro acid, they help too for acne. Okay. All right. This is a great question that I actually am curious to answer myself. So do you recommend facial shaving? I'm in my 20s and have a lot of stubborn peach fuzz on my face. I'm not sure if lasering will work. So what do you think about facial shaving? Okay. The facial shaving, if you use the blade, they are selling it in all the drugstore or you are just shaving it. I don't recommend it. The reason is because the hair grow back thicker, sharper, darker. You don't want that one. Um, if you are in San Diego, always I can help you. I have a device, it's dermoplaning. That's what uh, I talked at the beginning of my uh, uh, seminar. The dermoplaning is a blade, it's a, it's a surgical blade. It helps to remove the dead cells. As benefit of that, remove the peach fuzz of the skin too. This is what I can recommend. That usually after that, I use the glycolic peel, which the glycolic peel help with the skin, not the, the ingrowing hair grow back faster. Okay, I'm gonna see. We have some great um, videos of Farzane doing some dermablading. So if I can find them, that's beautiful. While um, while moderating this, I will post them in the chat as well, so you could see it live because it really. Um, like she said, it, it basically would accomplish the same goals, but in a much safer, more effective way than shaving at home. So, okay. Um, Actually, we have a lot of different kind of laser here for the laser hair remover, which mm -hmm. uh, she can have a good benefit of that. Uh, always you can come here, have a consult with one of physician or with uh, Lezan, then they can help you for the laser hair remover. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, so here's one from Kimberly. Hi, Kimberly. She says, my daughter is 14. She has very pale skin, but, her, but acne on her face with lots of blackheads. Very little neck acne, but sometimes shoulder. I beg her to care for her skin. What suggestions do you have for an easy routine? What teenage products or facials do you recommend? And how often do you suggest facials? Okay, the... First, uh, what I do, I do the co I consult with the patient because if they are 14 years old, they don't have any idea of what it means, the facial. Always they are thinking the facial is goes to the office and they put the oil on your face and make you relax and do the massage. But it's not what I do. What I do, I help to control your acne. I do extraction, I do extraction. I use a light peel for acne skin for the age of 14 to 16, the 12 if they have the acne. But I recommend that she can use at home any products with the benzoyl peroxide and salicylic acid is the best she can use it on her skin. And then uh, is use it every day. She has to use it every day. She has to do a good exfoliation to remove the dead cells. Make sure she doesn't use the makeup, a lot of makeup with mineral oil. They can clog her pores more. And as I said, the dead cells clog the pores. They become whitehead, whitehead, blackhead, and blackhead active acne. The best, I, she has to learn not to touch it because if she touch it, she spread the bacteria all over and instead of one acne, she become three, four acne around that one. It's the best not to touch your acne and use the right product. Absolutely, okay. All right, um, so MTOTH says, let's see. Um, 
Will the oh so first of all the webinars in the following week use the same code as today's yes all of our webinars are the exact same link and code so every day five days a week you can just use the same link at 12 p.m to log on with whatever expert is on that day um okay so do you recommend any collagen type products or products that help build volume uh the growth factor i go back to the growth factor we have uh, the growth factor, actually, as I said, is one is from a skin medical, the best growth factor in the world. I can say that one. One is from a skin medical, TNS essential serum, and the other one, the other one is from calcium, which that one is the growth factor from the deer, which it helps with the tightening and lifting the skin. It's the best things they can use that at home. Okay. Um, let's see. See, here's another one that asks about how do you feel about the Pico versus the IPL laser? Which would be better for hyperpigmentation and red spots? Uh, this is a question one of our doctors, she can answer. They can, or they can answer your question, but we yeah. have a lot of laser for that. Yes, the, she can use a lot of this laser for the redness and brown spot of the skin. I leave it, this question to one of our doctors because the, uh, next week we have few doctors they are going to have a webinar, they can answer you that. Absolutely, yeah, I think on next Thursday, there's an open Q&A with Dr. Bowen. She could definitely answer that. And then Friday, yeah. there's an entire webinar presentation from Dr. Um, Douglas Wu, who's gonna talk about lots of different types of lasers. And one of the big ones he's gonna focus on is IPL and other lasers like it, other lunchtime lasers. So please. Usually please. the IPL is the best for the people. They have redness of their skin, broken capillaries. Uh, as Dr. Goldman always says, it's like the whitening the skin, like you go to the dentist to do the whitening every six months. That's IPL help for those kind of people to brighten in their skin. That's what it does, IPL and many other things. They can combine okay. with IPL laser for their skin. Perfect. Um, let's see. Can you provide us with how we can purchase the products through you? So yes, I um, am trying to do this at the same time. But yes, I will post in the chat and I'll respond to you privately. Um, you can call us or there is a form you can fill out um, so that we can help get you these products shipped. And what I was also in the middle of almost or meant to say earlier is that right now, just to help support everyone that's you know going through this difficult time and we know how important it is to do something since we can't get our treatments as far as an A, we can at least have some product. We're offering 25% off all of our skincare across the board. We've never done that before. No minimum spend. So, um, so I will definitely post the information to get that, but um, I think that would, you know, I'm, I'm happy to share that. And we thank Dr. Goldman for allowing us to do that. Okay, so um, let's see. Do you perform, uh, this is from Kimberly, do you perform the V peel, VI peel? Do you recommend it? I am Caucasian, but an Italian descent, so I have naturally darker skin, have lots of sun damage on my face and neck, and I'm 49 years old. Okay, yes, for your skin type, I have different kind of peel, it's almost the same, uh, but for your skin, I go most with the Jasner peel. I believe Jasner is going to be one of the best treatment for your skin. Uh, it helps with the brown spot for the dark people, dark skin, uh, lines, acne scar. It has downtime actually. This uh, service has downtime, five days downtime, uh, which uh, it helps with your concern. Okay, perfect. All right. Um, here's another one. So a lot of people are asking about facials. So I think maybe it would be helpful for us if you could just tell us a little bit about what a facial means when they receive it with you, because it is so different than a general spa. Uh, uh, when I have my patient here, first I do consult to see the skin, what kind of skin they have, what kind of age they have, because not one service says it fits everybody. I love to customize the treatment for my patient. For example, if somebody come to me and she has some brown spot, I have many different kind of treatment. First, it, 
I ask if she wants to have downtime or she doesn't want to have downtime. If she wants, uh, she doesn't want to have downtime because most of the patient, they are working and they don't want to have the downtime. I do three different things. I do dermoplaning to help to remove the dead cells, which you are going to have the video for everybody. I do macrodermal operation or I do the hydrofacial. The hydrofacial treatment, it does five different treatment and it has a lot of pills involved on that. And then the end of the treatment, I do the peel. What I liked from this treatment is I work on the surface and I work from the deeper layer of the skin to attack the skin from both sides for the, any concern of the skin. This is one of my favorite treatment. All my patients, they love to do one of this treatment. The patient comes and she doesn't care really for about the downtime. She likes to have a good result, which I go with different kind of peel. We have uh, a skin medical peel, is rejuvenized peel, is vitalized peel. I have jasmine peel. They are helping with the skin for the brown spot, fine lines, rejuvenating, and acne scar. One other question uh, I know many of the patients they have is uh, macroneedling. Macroneedling is one of my favorite treatment too. The way I do macroneedling uh, is uh, downtime. It has downtime. It has five days to one week downtime. That's one of the other treatment. It really helps with the skin. I have photos before and after in our website. You can go to our website and see the video of when I was doing macroneedling and all the picture for before and after. But before I do that one, always I ask my patient to come and do the consult to make sure this is the right treatment for them. Okay, that's lovely. Okay, um, so let's see, you can still keep sending questions to me. Um, it would be great if we could list all the product treatments underneath like they do on YouTube. It's, I know Farzane has a little bit of a, um, well, she has an accent. So I think that if, um, let's see, I, I feel like there might be a caption option, but if not, um, I will start typing out the products that she recommends. Sorry about my language. Please have a patient with my language. I do my best. <laughs> but again, you can always email me and I'm going to send you all the information, all the ingredient, all the information about the products and then I can use yeah. Okay, great. And then someone else is asking about a consultation. So um, how much is a consult and can you do it the same day as a procedure? Uh, it's complimentary. My consultation is complimentary. Yes, we can do the same time. The, but uh, we have to make the schedule like few weeks before because the consultation, it takes me like 10 minutes to do consultation. But if I have to do the treatment, I need one hour treatment. That's why we have to make the schedule two weeks before. Got it. Okay. Um, and yes, I know everyone loves your accent. They say it's beautiful. Thank I think you. These product, <laughs> these product names are also difficult. So I will type them Actually, out. I can bring the box of the products. Maybe that helps better. The box of the products and put it together. Take a photo. You can send it, put it on video. The products, I like it, but for the skin, for different the skin, maybe it's different. Yeah, so let's just run through the few that have been recommended today so I can type those out um, right now. So far, you, re you recommended the Lytera by Lytera. by Skin Medica. Skin Medica, TNS Essential Serum by Skin Medica. Um, TNS Essential, by, I'm typing these out for you guys, by Skin Medica. You had this uh, Virilic. Journey with Neocotis. Okay. Journey with the new coatis. Lumia Rich for eye cream. Okay. Uh, I have the growth factor, calcium serum as a growth factor for anti-aging, which 
the growth factor is from the DR from animal. Okay. And the C fluoric acid from the skin suticals. which had 15% lustoric acid and fluoric and E. Okay. All right, I think that's... Uh, and oh. uh, many people, they were asking about the scrub. This is one of the fav my favorite scrub from Skin Suticals. Okay, I just typed this, those all into the chat and I'll keep them going as well. Um, and so, yeah, Mary, we'd be happy to um, email to you. I just need to remember which question was yours. Um, type in and remind me which, or maybe, hold on, I think it was here. Um, so Mary had, oh, about the, the woman who's 68 and plays tennis six days a week, what do you recommend? Can I, can you just, Remind so I can type them in here. Uh, is C E fluoric acid and lighter? Fluoric um, and lighter. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much. All right, we still have time for more questions, so keep um, sending those over. So let's see. There are a few more here. Um, let's see. Um, so we answered the consults. Um, is our skin pseudocles good for sensitive skin, or what do you recommend for sensitive skin? Uh, sensitive. What it means the sensitive skin is sensitive to the sun. Is sensitive to acid. Is sensitive to depend on what kind of sensitivity she has. But uh, for sure, I go if it is and depend of what kind of a skin she has. Again, it goes back from the skin. Is because of acne she is sensitive, or is because of the sun and dryness she is sensitive? Okay. Okay. So if you could, uh... because uh, I didn't know everybody wants to ask about the products. I that's why I don't know really uh, uh, how can I put these two together because all depend of the skin of the patient, depend of their age and depend of the texture. Maybe next time I can prepare myself more for the products and bring products here more to show everybody. Thank you. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll do this again, but of course, first sure. aid is, is always available. Uh, right now she's available for a virtual consultation. It's complimentary anytime you can call and schedule and then have a one-on-one -on -one video chat with her so she can actually see you and help provide, you know, a better recommendation. Um, and then once, once we are back open again, you can come see her in person too. Um, okay, so here's another one. Um, can you recommend any food types for controlling acne? Yes. Please do not use, uh, do not eat anything with, um, okay, nuts. I don't go with any nuts. Sugar, anything with sugar, oil, uh, anything with oily, uh, oily food, and dairy. Those products, they are what always I ask my patient, do not eat those products, stay away from those products if you have acne skin. Okay, that's helpful. Um, Actually, I'm writing a journal about why this ingredient is not good for the body. And uh, maybe by next week, you, we can put it on our website and everybody can read about it. It's a journal. Because if I talk, I'm sure you don't understand because of my language. That's why if I write, you all understand it better. That's why I'm going to put that on here uh, next week to our website. And then if you have any question, next time I can answer. Um, okay. So everyone's asking now, is there a code for the 25% off? And it's, um, so it's not actually a technical online store. You will submit the form, the request online, and then we will call you to get your credit card over the phone and make sure, you know, and give you the 25% off. Um, give you the 25% off. So hopefully, Kimberly, that helps answer your question. 
Um, so Janice is wondering if, if you know, do you know any pricing for these products or should we direct her to? Uh, I believe it's better to direct it to the okay. people in the boutique. They can help with the products and the price more. Okay, so Janice, I'll give you the end and there. <laughs> okay, so Janice, I'll give you the phone number um, or the email to send it to. And then let's see, here's a new question from Leela. Are any of these companies products organic or GMO free or cruelty free, not tested on animals? Yes, all the products is not tested on animals. All the products we have. That's great. And how about organic or GMO? Uh, I don't go with organic products because the organic products, they have a lot of uh, mineral oil, which those clog the pores. I stay away from everything with mineral oil and organic. I have a lot of patients, they come and they say, oh, my skin was dry last month, I didn't see you, and she's breaking out, and she had a lot, they have a lot of milia. I keep asking the question, why you all have milia? You never had those milia. And then I ended up to see, oh, they are using like coconut oil on their face because their skin is too dry. That's why those kind of oil, it can clog your pores and become milia and acne. Please uh, stay away from those. For the body, I'm okay, but not for your face. Okay. Um, what am I saying information? Um, okay, so let's see. If you could recommend just one product for skin tightening and anti-aging, what would you recommend to get the most effect? The growth factor. I go between two, the growth factor and vitamin C. It's hard for me to decide that one, but we can do two things. We can use the vitamin C in the morning and the growth factor in the night. Okay, so and when she says the growth factor, you mean the calcium? The calcium and the TNS essential serum from skin because both of them depend on the will of the patient. Some people in the young TV, oh, the growth factor from human body protein. No, then we go with the growth factor of the year. Okay, perfect. And so I guess, is there a preference between the calcium and the TNS essential if we have to pick one for a growth factor? In my opinion, but maybe our doctor has different opinion, which they can ask the, the doctor. Okay. But the TNS Essential Serum does also have some antioxidants. Yes, it has, it has two. It has vitamin C and it has the growth factor. It's mixed of both together. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So I got that one. Okay, just a few more questions here before we wrap up today. Um, so can you have a facial as well as a laser procedure? And if so, what order? Usually first I do the treatment. Yes, always I combine my treatment with the laser. For example, if you have acne skin, you first, even if you go to the doctor, they send you to me. First, I do the facial. I do the deep cleaning facial to control the oil of the skin and do the acne treatment therapy. Then after my treatment, you go directly to the doctor and they can do the PDT laser or we have the blue and red light laser. We can do these two together, but always first my treatment and then the doctor treatment. Or if you want to do IPL laser, what I do before IPL, I do dermoplaning to remove the dead cells, or I do dermosuit to removing the dead cells or microdermabrasion. And then after that, immediately they can have the IPL laser because then this way the laser goes deeper because they don't have any dead cells and they can have more benefit of the laser. This is for before the laser. But if you go to the doctor and you do the CO2 laser or fractal laser, fractional two laser, you can, like eight weeks after, you can come to me and then I start to take care of your skin for after the post-op laser. Um, okay, perfect. All right, so. Um, if I go too fast, please let me know. <laughs> All right, so MTOTH, um, does Dr. Wu also do the take 10 procedure? So yes, all of our doctors are expert laser 
um, laser surgeons, and they all have slightly different techniques. But yes, absolutely, Dr. Um, Wu can, of course, do a Take 10 procedure as well. Um, okay, so Kimberly says, do you sell or recommend a daily tinted moisturizer for those that like a hint of makeup to even out their skin tone instead of using heavy makeup? Yes, we have a lot of tinted moisturizer and tinted sunscreen. And time is one of the best sunscreen I can recommend it is tinted. And actually, when we, I was talking about the journey, this one has a little bit tint because of the green tea. If that helps with the skin and this way we don't have to use the makeup. Okay, do you want to maybe show us on your hand? Oh. And make us jealous that we don't have it right now, but. <laughs> Hopefully it comes. Is it coming out? Uh, no. It's a long time it's a seed. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Okay, I have some. Okay. Okay, so if you guys can see there, that is a slight tint. Oh yeah, look at that. Perfect, thank you. Okay, everyone. Well, um, thank you the so much. The other things I okay. can recommend that for sunscreen is easier than sunscreen, which is the powder. Is the powder and you can just apply it on the skin, that's it. That's one of the, my favorite sunscreen too. Perfect, I just typed that out. So um, thank you guys. Everyone says they love your accent. Thank you, thank you. And I'm so happy if I, can, uh, I could help you with some question. Always you can reach me in our, my, in our office. You can email me, you can text, and uh, you have my cell phone, you can pass it to everybody if they have any question and they want to ask. Okay, perfect. So to wrap this up, I'm gonna post right now in the chat, I'm gonna put Farzaneh's direct phone number and email since she's so graciously offered oh, to go public with it. And then we, I'm also gonna give the practice phone number and the link to request to order the products online. And that would be you know, the, the place to go um, to request things like pricing and to actually um, fulfill an, um, a, an order request. And then, you know, are we taking appointments from June 1st or later? Yes, we absolutely are. We are, I mean, we really hope we will be opening before June, but we are taking appointments right now um, for June 1st or later. So Farzane does book up quickly. She has so many loyal patients. Once you start seeing her, your skin looks so amazing. It's just, <laughs> You, you, you can't stop coming back. Um, so um, I love I, what I do. I do my best for my patient. <laughs> so I think it's a great idea to schedule yourself now, even this far in advance, so you get the exact day and time that you want. So. Okay. Thank you, Risa. Thank you, and thank you everybody. Uh, thank you for having patience with my accent and my la language. <laughs> and before I. Um, we log off. I'm just going to post these few things that I promised. Um, so that's Farzane's direct email. And then I already had posted the phone number um, for the practice. Um, and you can always go to clderm.com as well to, to find this information. And we can always connect you with Farzane. Um, and just as a reminder, so we do webinars every day on the weekdays. So our next one up will be Monday with Dr. Fabi. She's gonna be speaking all about the neck and jawline and all the latest technology, the techniques and treatments to tighten the neck and jawline, which is something I think we all are interested in. Um, and then Farzane will also be back um, a little bit in a couple of weeks from now on Wednesday, April 22nd, giving a more formal presentation about the current umbrella of esthetician treatments, everything from professional facials to dermablading to peels to um, hydrofacial. And she'll also do another review of skincare products and try and help um, give everyone a little regimen that they can use at home. So thank you again. And we Thank you. Please you stay home safe and hunting the day to see all again.
Thank you so much. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.